Seven. Hey guys, six, this is John. I'm playing the five, Hourly Bullet Arena four, on the chess.org. Three, two, um, in my previous one, bullet tournament, I got zero. the bronze, didn't win it. And I'm playing this one immediately after because by the time you guys are watching this, I will be out of town playing a tournament. So I'm just trying to record some stuff in advance. We're playing uh, Kaisa Sose, uh, Queen's Gambit Declined. And let's just take on d5, sure. We'll play it pretty simple. And then bishop g5. Um, let's go e3. We'll trade the light square bishops. Not an ambitious way to play, but it's a simple one. Pretty simple for bullet. That's a blunder, isn't it? Can I just win a pawn now? Looks like it is. Yeah, big blunder by him. Let's give a check here. Maybe rook here. Um, I'm going to bring this back and attack the pawn. See if I can sneak in d5 at some point soon. Yeah, it looks like I'm just winning a pawn now. Probably has to play this rook over, because if he plays the other rook over, he might get trapped. Uh, ooh, is my queen running out of squares? I don't think so. I can come over here and escape. Hmm. Yeah, my queen is okay where it's at. It looks all right. Let's go here and attack this pawn again. Um, I should have known that that was going to be the answer. <laughs> I'm going right back. All right, what, am, what is going on in this position? I don't know how to get out of this. This is the weirdest rep repetition ever. I literally do not know how to get out of this right now. All right, I'm just going to take a draw, I guess. That was really strange because my queen had no squares. Um, I don't know. guess we'll find out later if I go back and look at it. But All right, so we're playing a guy who's just pushing all his pawns. I'm going to take and just try to cause havoc. Let's go queen h5. Probably needs to play bishop g7 because now he's losing this rook. Let's get a queen. He's going to be losing a lot of material now. Let's take here. You can develop his knight and attack our queen with his rook. I'm just going to force a trade now. This rook coming in should be sufficient. Let's just open this up. Open up the center. Take, the knight's pinned. This is going to be a swift victory. Knight d5, I think we can pretty much pre-move that. Okay, take here. And go for rook takes a7. All right, mate. So drew, drew that first game, but got a quick win in the second one to make up for it. If you're going to drop a game, it's better to do it in the first one. If you're going to lose or draw. So 46 players. And in the last tournament, uh, Titanos was the guy who, who gave us problems, and he won the event. So I'm going to concentrate extra hard if I play him. <laughs> I want to take him out. Okay, I'm going to do something weird against this bishop g2 system. This is a line that I've experimented with a couple times, and then swing the queen over to h5. It's kind of crude, but it, it tends to produce confusion in white's camp. <laughs> That's the best thing I can say about this line. Uh, okay, let's play a6. Um, I guess I'm going to do this and then take here. Man, my king's, my queen side's awfully weak, though. I'm not sure about this. Okay, let's do this and then put the knight on d5, I guess. I'm going to offer a trade of queens, which he probably does not want to take. Um, he's attacking that pawn. Man, that's annoying. I got to bail with my king. That needs to happen. The king is going to run. I'm hoping for an attack on the king side now. h5, or uh, h4 rather. Okay, let's go. Let's open this up. Both our kings are going to be open to the elements. Man, can I, I can almost mate him. Uh, let's go here. And then we'll take this way. Threatening queen h2. Hmm. Okay, let's take here. Bring this back. There's no rookie one because my queen guards that square, fortunately. Let's give a check. Give another check. Mm, queen into h7. Didn't see that. Um, still, though, I'm going to do this. Go take his rook. 
He's got to go for some checks now. He just resigned. He must not have seen Queen H7. All right, so somewhat shaky victory, but a victory nonetheless. And, wow, we got a lot of players who are on doubling streaks right now. Pretty big tournament. Dorian won. Or won 11, I should say. We got a Slav going on. Okay, let's take here. They'll probably take on F3. They usually do. Early Queen B3 hitting this pawn. Okay, he's going to let us take that, huh? It does take a few moves to um, kind of get situated for white here after. Okay, let's play f4, bishop e2, I'm going to castle. Mm, I think I can play b3, I don't see any issue with that. Let's try to trade some pieces down the file. Encourage trades. I'm winning a pawn now, another pawn. Rook to c6 is a threat. Let's go a4. Hmm, let's just drop this back. Mm, probably don't want to go all the way back there. I'm going to play king g2 now. Oh, I had rook c6. Rook c6 would have been nice. It's still nice, but it would have been even better on the previous move. Uh, let's go bishop c3, just to be safe, and then start advancing these pawns. I think our king is the only thing we got to be marginally worried about, um, but it's pretty safe. Okay, let's just kick this guy back. Nothing to do but retreat. Now we're hitting this pawn, which he can't defend. Go take that. Mm, we'll go here. He's trying desperately to get something going, but yeah, now he loses his queen. All right, should be mating a couple. All right, back to tournament. So Vanquish Dorian 11, Chess Strategy, Dorp, and Flowmaster are in the lead along with me. Plenty of time left. All right, so we play the leader, Chess Strategy. Played him a couple times in the last tournament. If Bishop F4, I'm going to play Queen B6, but... Might be a moot point because it looks like he's going for a Fianchetto. Typically, white shouldn't Fianchetto in uh, the exchange Slav. It's just not a great idea when you're attacking that. You're hitting against this pawn on d5. It's playable, but it's not an issue for black. I'm going to try to maneuver and bring my knight into c4. This is a great square for it. Already, he's in some difficulties. Let's bring this back. He might try to play for e4. Let's play f5 for that reason. This kind of makes my light square bishop pretty bad, but I think it's all right. Let's go g5. I'm going to try to go for f4. Uh, yeah, let's do this. He has knight b7 if he wants. I'm still going to go for f4. I feel like I'm situated well for this attack. Let's take. I'll take here. I'm hitting f4. Um, let's take here. You take with the knight. Maybe taking with the knight is all right for him. Okay, let's go rook back. Attacking this knight. Um, now I can, I can give a check, but I'm, hmm. Because he can play king h2 now, followed by rook h1, but I have bishop g4. It's kind of what I'm hoping is okay for me. So we can do this. And let's double up our rooks. Attack f2. Hmm. Let's give a check. I'm going to try to go rook h3. That's big trouble for him now. He's having to bail out. Definitely big trouble. All right, he resigned. Back to tournament. We've got 14 points. Dorp is in the lead, but just took a loss, so he won't be doubling. Flowmaster played him like three or four times in the previous tournament. Jupex says, which one fins? Oh, he's asking about this tournament. Um, Dayton Masters is the name of it. Uh, couldn't get that off. Okay, uh, Flowmaster. Don't know if I played him from the white side yet. Okay, let's play, let's play G3, actually. This is an interesting line. Then we'll castle and go knight d2 and play for e4. 
I think c5 is a good plan. Um, let's just go here. Oh, we can take this pawn though. Maybe shouldn't have given him that option. But now I can do this and then take on c6. And if rook b8, I have bishop f4. Uh, that just loses a piece. Bishop a6. You should have played bishop b7. Yeah, so the tournament I'm playing in is a tournament in Ohio called the Dayton Masters. I'll try to post a link if I can. Um, it's the first norm event uh, of its kind in Ohio, the state of Ohio. So hopefully I'm doing well by the time that this video airs. <laughs> okay, Titanos, got to take you down, man. Nothing personal, but just business, you know? <laughs> Bishop f5. Okay, he's playing the main line, knight d5. He seems to know what he's doing in this opening. Castle short. Let's see if he sacks something. He very well might. I'm just going to go bishop d6. Let's play king b8. Uh, c5 is a good plan against this setup. Okay, let's take and then play bishop c5. This pawn's defended, so that's nice for us. Let's play e5. Let's see if we can get some trades going. Bishop e4 looks like a good idea. Why do you see a rook take c5? He might have had rook take c5 there. Uh, let's let's keep the bishop now. I think this is a strong piece. I want to go here and then here. That's what I want to do. He's got to watch out for knight d4. If knight f5, then I have knight g5. It's a killer. Yeah, he found a good defense. Um, let's bring this in anyways. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep uh, some pieces on the board for now. Hmm, 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 hmm. This guy's pesky, man. He's playing well, too. h4 is probably a good plan. Uh, can I go here? Can I win a piece? Knight c5. Yeah, we want to keep peace. That's important. Okay, let's bring this back this way. Brings that in. We can win f6. Let's hide our king. Maybe knight g5. Then we hold up the advance of this pawn. Let's bring this all the way back. Go here, attack that knight. He's running out of time, too. I'm pretty move this move. All right, so hard-fought game. You found some resourceful moves. But uh, we get the victory, and we're in first place with 22 points. Kaisa Sose, the guy we drew with, he's been making steady progress. He has 17. He hasn't berserked, but he's just been cranking out the victories. Gapawa. Okay, let's play c4. Play d5. Not a great move against the English. It's not a completely terrible move, but it, this should lead to a pretty big advantage for white with almost no risk whatsoever. Yeah, like, he can't take the pawn now because... Um, He'd be running into problems with the, with the discovery on the queen. So, uh, okay, let's bring this back. Hmm. Let's play bishop d3 just to guard this a bit better. If he takes on c3, he does not. Okay, well, I'm going to go b4 and just make sure he can't play c5 in this case. Well, we got a space advantage, so there's that. Uh, h3 looks like a useful move. Maybe bishop h5, though. Uh, let's play bishop e3 just to defend this pawn a bit better. Go knight e5, attack that bishop. Oh, maybe bishop a6, too, to drive away this rook so we can try to win that pawn. Um, let's do that now. Looks like a solid plan. Ooh, that loses material, though. Because now I'm hitting this bishop. I can take this, right? Looks like it to me. He takes f2, I take with the king. Yeah, there's no problem. He can take e4, I suppose. Uh, okay, let's just block with the rook, actually. We'll do it this way. Yeah, he's losing on time as well. Okay, we can take here and then take the knight. 
All right, back to tournament. And 26 points, 5 points ahead of Dorian. Kaisa Sose lost a game. Okay, that helps. Milo Million says, sorry guys, how do I play? Got to click that join button. All right, Dingo, 1, 2, 3. Let's play G6. Gingy Indian? Oh, no. Gingy Indian denied. Let's play D6. We'll go Rook C8 and then maybe Knight E5 later. This pawn is going to be weak. Because he's foregone the option to put the pawn on uh, B3. Yeah, like now he's just losing it. Let's play Queen D7 and double up those Rooks. Double up those Rooks on the file. Um, okay, let's play let's play Queen B7. Just maybe X-ray down, down the file. Um, A6, I'm going to go for B5. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll trade. So we're up a solid pawn. This pawn is hanging. Let's go for a swap, though. I could have maybe taken a3, but I think a swap is a bit better. Maybe a bit of a defensive solution, but looks okay. Now I'm attacking this rook. He saw it. I'm going to go here, attack this pawn. I'm going to be very pesky over the next few moves. Ooh, now I can go rook c2 after this. Yeah, and he's pinned. If he moves this rook, he loses his queen. So we're just winning. No defense, so he resigned. Okay, 30 points, 8.5 minutes remaining. Good power. Let's play e4 in this game. Scandinavian. Wow, going up against our own defense. With queen a5, no less. Let's play the short variation. How about that? With d3, bishop d2, and queen e2. This is a fun line. It's problematic for black, for sure. Just got to be careful, because now, like, the queen can easily get trapped. Uh, queen a4 is... Hmm. There? Isn't bishop b4? Let me calculate something. Yeah, I think I can do this. He's queen d4, though. Just going to do it this way. And then b4. Goes to d6. Oh, man, that pesky queen. <laughs> I guess I wasn't really trapping it. This pawn is hanging. wonder if he'll see that. Otherwise, I'll play knight e5 next move. Um... All right, let's go here. This is not a great move, but I didn't really see what else to do. At least I'm causing him to think a lot. If he takes here, I'm going to play c3, and if he takes with the knight, I'm going to castle kingside. That's the plan, at least. Okay, let's castle short. And hide the king. I just don't want bishop c5 to be an issue. I'm just playing to flag him now, almost purely. No other plans but the flag. Okay, now he loses a piece. So, not the most convincing of games against my opening, although that's suspicious for black. If they're allowing knight d5 in that position, you could see that the queen was like very low on squares. Who's up next? Dorian or Flowmaster? No, Kaiser Sose. Okay, let's continue the Scandinavian trend, shall we? Playing a main line. D5. Yeah, that's a slightly annoying move. Let's back this up. Let's go here. It's a sneaky move, but he figured out what it was about. He can play bishop g5, but I have queen g6 in this position. It's just castle. It's taking. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna see if he'll take that pawn. I'm wondering if he'll do it. Hmm. Let's do this. He can't take because I have rook b1. So what's he gonna do about that? This looks like trouble for him. Uh, I wanna sack a piece, so I'm going to. 
and then here and try to go queen in. This is probably unsound, just to warn you guys. But it looks interesting, and I'm going to bank on my compensation with the light square bishop and the attack on his king. Uh, let's go here, and then take threatening mate, or mate here. What's he going to do about that? He's got to like move his queen to give a flight square. Maybe queen d8, yeah. Queen check is a problem. Let's go here. Um, I can check and then promote. Let's just take that guy. Yeah, and with the time discrepancy too, it's a pretty easy win. All right. Well, um, that's like a sacrifice I would probably not have made in a, a longer game, but in a blitz game, it's going to cause some issues for white defending. A lot of issues, actually. Okay, let's go here, attack this and this. We're going to win some pawns now. Don't want to take on c3 yet, though. c3 was a no-go. Hmm, let's just go d6, just to make sure he can't get into c7. a6, kick him out. All right, now we're up a couple solid pawns. Play rook c8 next move while he's doing this h-pawn business. Yeah, we were kind of allowed to consolidate there too. Let's see if he swaps here. Okay, we'll take uh, queen e5, maybe hit this knight. Go here, hit the knight again. You play knight g5. Uh, I'll go here. Bishop h4, though. If bishop f4, I have e5. Let's bring the queen in. Knight here looks like a good idea. Attacking that bishop. We can take this way. Hmm. Play e6. And try to kick that knight out of there. d5. Let's bring this all the way back. Oh, I'm allowing g4. Probably should not have allowed that. I have e5 though if I need it. So it's okay. We can take this guy. Let's play e5. We'll avail ourselves of that opportunity. Rook c1 is possible. Fortunately, this defends everything. Okay, now we'll just trade down to a winning endgame. I'm just going to flag him. Yeah. <laughs> a5, a4, he doesn't have time to take the pawn. All right, 42 points. Uh, Kaisa Sose, let's play d4 this game. This guy seems to play pretty classically. Um, let's take, do an early queen c2. Yeah, and he's going to play for this bishop out to f5. I'm going to go e3 and then play knight uh, g e2 to g3. Just kind of an interesting way to try to kick his bishop out of that good f5 square. Okay, queen d2. Mm, let's go knight a4. And then we'll take here. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's go take. I'm just gonna trade some stuff. Not entirely sure how to proceed, so that's why I'm just swapping a little bit. Let's play b3. Safeguarding the weaknesses. Uh, queen here, attack this knight again. Kind of a maneuvering struggle now. Hmm. I'm going to go king f1. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't want his queen to get too active. Hmm. Okay, let's play f3. Wasn't sure if I wanted to play this move. But I think I can trade off a little bit, and it's okay. Let's play king up to f2. I've got some dark square weaknesses, and he has a dark square bishop, so I kind of got to watch out for that. Uh, let's go knight in. Try to win this pawn, if possible. Okay, let's hmm. let's bring this back. 
No queen trade. Hmm. Unclear what either of us is going to do. I'm going to go here. Well, now I'm losing, for sure. How fast can he mate me, though? I can win my pawns pretty fast. Ooh. Ah, I ran out of time. Well, fortunately, that didn't count, I guess. <laughs> but he did get the best of me there at the end. Um, okay, so we got first place out of 89 players. Didn't berserk that much, but as you can see, playing a lot of good players again. These term last couple tournaments have been pretty strong. So um, Flowmaster got second, Dorian 11 got third. Yeah, that last game, I shouldn't have uh, allowed Queen F4 check. That was killer. Yeah, I probably should have just kept my king where it was at on F2 or F1. But nonetheless, uh, got the victory. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.